Hey guys, what is going on? It's not going to be a very long video today. Yesterday I did a Donald Trump video and I said it was St. Patrick's Day yesterday. I'm so stupid. God, Memora. Anyways, <laughs> I was out today. I got some stuff. I got I got some binoculars. And, and I do have a reselling channel, so I'm not going to be talking about that stuff here. But I do find binoculars. Really hoping I have fun and cassette player. That's what I'm looking for. So I can do more on along the lines of testing my cassettes before I sell them. Um, and stuff just like that. And also being able to listen to cassettes. Because there's some cool ass cassettes you can find. And there's some really good ones. There's like Hank Williams. Um, was it Junior? It might have been Junior. No, 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 that's not too good. Yeah, it's okay. Um, they had some bluegrass cassette. And they had some other cassettes. So it was really, really good uh, there. Um, they also have some PlayStation games, some PS2 games, and a FedEx truck almost hitting me. All right, anyways. Um, but I, I don't have the internet capabilities on my phone when I go into Goodwill right now. So, kind of sucks. I kind of got to use my instincts, and it doesn't really work. There was some stuff today that I really would have needed internet for to look some stuff up. Um, I took a chance on the, the binoculars. Hopefully it pays off. Even then, I think I can get my money back. I could sell them for five bucks. I'd probably get my money back. Um, I paid four dollars. I don't know why they're four dollars. Cause I swear it said two ninety nine. Two ninety two ninety nine is what it says. So I'm not sure where I oh. So it went, so they charged me tax. And then they asked me if I want to pay 80 cents. I don't, that should have been a red flag. And I should have said no. I said yes. That's why I pay $4. So, these are now a $4 pair of binoculars. Good job, Brad. Losing your profit. And, um, anyways. So that was an adventure today. We got a new couch. Or we're getting a new couch uh, from another rental place. And we are having uh, Rena Center come pick it up. I just got back from them. It's nice. We had to wait till Thursday for them to come pick it up. So hopefully they can come get it sooner. That'd be nice. Um, it's all good. Man, that gray hair is like in my beard, man. Um, but yeah, that sucks. I'm gonna wait all the way till then, and the living room is gonna get crowded because the other couch is coming on um, Monday. That's good. So, <laughs> not sure what we're going to do about that. The wife is probably not going to be happy when she hears about that. Uh, but hopefully they come get it sooner because I told the lady, I'm like, I'm not banking any more payments. So, you can just do what you got to do. Come get the damn couch. I mean, pay your guys over time and have them come get it off after, after hours or something. I don't know. Ain't my problem. You want your couch back, come and get it. And this is the same problem I had when we lived in uh, Kentucky. We we had to move kind of abruptly because the landlord was an asshole. And, you know, we didn't know what was going to happen. And we told uh, Aaron's the day before, hey, we got to go. We got to leave. And I said, we just, you know, we thought that they would work with us on our rent. And we told them the whole story. You know, we thought they were work, work with us on our rent. We were just like a, a week behind you know, on, you know, money and the landlord would not work with us. Not at all. And, you know, he said, you know, we'll either have the money or be out by, and he gave us a certain day and people are buttholes in, in Kentucky. There are some bad, there are some landlords out there that have no recollection of what's going on in society. And I don't understand that in this day and age that some landlords would be like that. And this is in a little small town called Butler, Kentucky. And it is, horrible it's a horrible little town because i mean it's a nice little town but all the people seem like they have other priorities other than being nice to other people but they act nice is that kind of does that make any sense like they act fake in a way but they act real in a way but you always get this weird feeling in the back of your head that some car is going to hit me did you really have to get that close i don't understand people are stupid Am I that close? I'm in the freaking parking space. What are these people? They're psychos. Um, anyways. Um, yeah. So that's where we stand with 
And, and oh, in the story, sorry. Um, so I call him, and basically he was like, well, I don't know what we're going to do. And I'm like, well, I guess you guys are going to have to get a hold of the landlord, and you guys can talk it out. Because we got to go, so either you come and get it today, or by the time we get done moving, or we're locking the door, we're turning the key in, and goodbye. And that's all I can do. That's all I can say. And that's what I told them. We packed everything up. They never came. The couch stayed there. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but I know, like, uh, Aaron's, uh, we were able to rent from them again. So, evidently, they didn't check with the other Aaron's, or they, we didn't say anything. We didn't say, hey, we were renting from this other place. Because it, it had been a while, too. We, uh, did we do anything in Tennessee from anybody? I don't know if we did. Oh, we did, we did, we did. Uh, we, we did rent from Aaron's in Tennessee, and they wouldn't move. We were willing to see if they would, you know, if they charge us anything, because we really did like our furniture in uh, Tennessee, um, but they wouldn't travel. They wouldn't take it up to Indiana. They wouldn't take it to Indiana. Um, or they wouldn't, like, we didn't know if, like, they would let us take it and transfer it to a thing in Indiana, but I guess it's non-transfer, non-transferable across states or something like that. They said something like that. So it was sad. We had to give our furniture and all the money we paid. Um, you know, I think they should have been all, they, they should have gave us some money because they were unable to complete the contract. We were willing to complete the contract, but they wouldn't give us our shit. They wouldn't let us take our shit. Anyways, so that kind of sucked. Uh, so that's, I guess, our, that's our rental history, if you would like to know. Anyways, <laughs> kind of a vlog today. Just kind of bullshitting today. I don't really know what to talk about. Uh, I'm going to be doing more research uh, in the morning on uh, CDs and, uh, or, yeah, geez. I'll take my shipment soon, but I probably won't get it until next week. If you didn't know, update. CDs are coming to me. A hundred. No cases. No artwork. As far as I know, they didn't say any artwork. I've seen some of them. I know Tool, I think Undertow, that CD. I know No Doubt Tragic Kingdom. That's the update. Um, a Cisco CD. Two Life Owl CDs. And I don't even think it's the one with Hanging by a Moment on it. That one. I think it's another one. It's two other ones. So, kind of disappointing. But, Life House is a pretty good band. I'm interested to see if it sounds good. Um, there is one CD that I, I, I know what it is. But I don't know what it is. Like, I know the CD artwork. But I don't know what band it is. Because I'm pretty sure I owned it. I hope it's something good. But I want to say, I kind of want to say it's something that I didn't listen to a lot. But it's coming in the thing. What sucks is, the same guy put up some more listings, charged like three or four dollars more, and there's some better CDs in the other lot that I won. I'm like, no! Because there's like Nirvana Unplugged, and then there's a Cold, the original Cold CD. Man. There was another one, too. I think it was a Beatles album and some other stuff. And, then, and the other one, I'm like, man. I do know there are some duds in there, though. But I don't think that he showed them all. Now, I will be counting them, and there better be 100. Or I'm going to be like, hey, send me my 100, or I'm going to give you negative feedback. Because I will play that game, and I will ask for partial refund if he does not give me 100 CDs. Because if that was the whole entire thing and he says 100 CDs, I will be counting the CDs. Because I paid for 100 loose CDs. And I don't even, you know, and to be completely honest, I don't even know if those are the CDs that he is actually sending me. Because I know he didn't show me all of them. There's no way. I think he just showed the best ones. Probably all the other ones are going to be junk and garbage. I guarantee you that. That's probably what, what he was showing was those were the good ones. He didn't say that. But I'm almost betting. Just saying. Because he's probably got a bunch of trash CDs. And he's just getting rid of the cases and stuff. And then he's going to... There is this whole big ass parking lot. Have you... I've yelled three times. This parking lot is empty. God damn it. And these people... I hate... I, Greensburg. I, dude, I swear to God. 
you guys are effing retarded. All this partying life. And you choose to go around me. I don't understand. Anyways. God, I hate people. I really do. If I could live in a world with dogs and cats and they walked around like us and didn't act like humans. Wait. Do act like humans but a little bit more civilized? That would be nice. These people are about dog monkey face people or something. I don't know what the heck they are. They're stupid. I'll tell you that. Anyways, CDs are coming. I also got some cases for cards. If you've been following, been knowing, seeing a couple of my videos, I do open cards. I have a lot of cards. I got to put them in sleeves. I'm going to be selling them in lots on eBay. It's happening. Boom. But I do like to open cards. So I've been looking for cards to open on eBay. Um, I did find out before I actually got an eBay account again that I could have bought them like a long time ago like a while back ago because they have guest uh, pay on eBay so you can just get on there and pay like and whatever I didn't know I didn't know this somebody told me this and I was like what really and then I went on there and then I just made an account and I got an account started selling so uh, yeah so yes definitely check out Retro Asylum there is no video up on there um, but I'm working on the logo that's going to go up probably this weekend I'm probably going to work on the logo I'm not going to have no sun my son don't come back until next week uh, I think he comes back on Tuesday or Wednesday. I think that's what it is. This Tuesday or Wednesday. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's going to be a crowded house. That's all i got to say. Um, but yeah, that's what's going to happen. La-di-da. La-di-la-di-da. Um, I can't keep it too much because the I only have 17 minutes left on the phone for some reason. I need to delete all the pictures because I'm going to be posting stuff on eBay anyway. So... I'm just going to leave all the pictures I have on here. I was posting on Mercari, and I'm letting the listings run out just in case I happen to sell something, but I'm not going to. I'm probably... <sighs> Check out Retro Asylum, because I'm going to be talking about these apps that people use, and supposedly people make sell sales on them. I don't know what the hell they do, because I've listed shit, and I know I'm listing shit like cards and stuff like that, but you would think I would at least sold one thing. I mean, I've listed magazines and cards, and I know maybe... Okay, okay. Nobody wants your shit. Nobody wants your stuff. All right. I get that. I get that. But you think that somebody would be like, dude, I'll give you $3 for it. And I don't want to pay shipping. I'd be like, crazy. You need to fuck off. But thank you for the offer. But I don't get nothing. Nobody messes me or nothing. Bullshit. Comes in the car. You going to go right by me? Because there's no other place to go in the parking lot, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, keep driving. Asshole. Before I leave, I swear some car's gonna go past me again. And I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? People are stupid. There's all this parking lot and you choose to go by me. I don't understand. I park at the back of the parking lot for a reason. To get away from people so I can record and not look like a complete idiot. Because I mean, I already look like a complete I mean, look at me. I got this, I got a white strand through my goatee. Look at that. My teeth are all jacked up. I wear glasses. That's just a common thing. That you're goofy if you wear glasses. My hair, it's red. I mean, it is St. Patrick's Day. It is St. Patrick's Day today. I got that right. Yesterday was not St. Patrick's Day. Stupid. I ate Chinese yesterday, too. Really good. I don't know what that means to anybody, but yeah, it is what it is. Um, yeah, I don't think that's about it. So, the man that talks about nothing continues to talk about nothing <laughs> the journey to ebay has interrupted everything in the brad tragic world because i'm looking up stuff to resell and uh getting cards i'm looking at a cassette player on ebay i'm probably gonna win it but i'm thinking at the end it's gonna go blah, 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 and people are gonna like fight over it and i'll be like ah, damn it, i ain't paying that much uh, but i did come across a cassette player to uh but I opened, it was in a box. I opened the box. I was like, oh, wow. It's got its own box or anything. I look it up. I open it up is the outside said it was going to be white. Open up the box. It was yellow. Like yellowish. Like. Sm Card is passed. I swear to God. People are fucking stupid. Um. It was so yellowish, like, people had smoked, like, 
four packs a day for 20 years right next to this cassette player. Like that's like that's all that was in the room was them smoking this cassette player with the alarm clock and the room was like a closet because all the smoke would go toward this thing because that's how yellow it was. It was really bad. And after I was seeing the top of it, I'm like, eh, I'm going to close this back up now and I'm going to call it a day because I don't think I want this if it's that bad. Anyways, I'm going to go into this video. Thank you guys for checking out the video. If you lasted to the end of the video, put yellow unicorns run wild into the ocean. And I know you made it all the way through, but I guarantee you no one, no one will watch this whole video. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe, all that good jazz, and keep rocking and keep riding unicorns. Sorry about that, headphone users. Later.